Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Alone But Not Lonely. I have truly been back and forth about how and what I'm gonna film this next video on. And I think you guys kind of may have gathered that as well as the last episode I filmed was back in May or June. So it's been a good couple of months. I've been to Italy and back, which is basically the trip I was discussing before I left. And I talked about how I wanted to do a in-depth travel guide sort of video. So I really, I've just kind of been waiting for the perfect time to do this video. I'm swimming today and spending the day by the pool. But I just felt very inspired today and I thought the setting was really fitting and it's very tropical and it's very summery. So I thought I'm going to sit here, I'm going to put on my little microphone on my phone and we can do this video. Alone but not lonely, how to travel solo without being lonely and making sure that you're planning your first solo trip thoroughly. I think when I first went to my first solo trip in December, I was so caught up in the shopping aspect and what I'm gonna do and all the sites and all that that there's some things I would do differently like off the top of my head I know I'd try my best to stay somewhere a bit more central to avoid getting ubers and bolts everywhere I was going there's things I would do differently now for sure but yes yeah, so these are my top five tips if I come up with any more I could totally do a part two to this video these also can be applied for somewhere just out of city it doesn't necessarily need to be a different country it could literally be a one night staycation somewhere it could be a weekend getaway it could be a trip it could be anything this is very much budget friendly my name is Sienna I'm 17 years old I left school last July after doing my GCSEs and I've been traveling and working about to turn 18 and start my my second year and i do social media as my full-time job i'm a young solo traveler all these trips i've done so far i've done these trips alone i've paid for them all myself which is a huge accomplishment let's get into the five tips about traveling solo and about not feeling lonely choosing somewhere to go take into consideration the types of places you were going to visit as well as budget wise you could go to paris and it could be super expensive or you can go to the south of france where things are a little bit less expensive but still in the area that you want to visit so you still have all the like i don't know french aspects parisian vibes all of those things but just doing it more according to what's suitable and best for you the location if it's known for being expensive then to save longer so you have the freedom to do all the things you're wanting to do that's something i'm really glad that i did when i went to italy because i was there five days march through till about literally through till july i was saving for that trip and i'm so glad that i did because it enabled me to do the things that i was going there to do you're gonna spend money getting there on your accommodation you could go with two months saving three months savings or you can go with six months savings have a way more high quality trip and do everything that you want to do definitely would say to save longer saving for a trip can be hard as i know everyone is in different financial situations but each month you can put away a few pounds a couple tens maybe a few hundreds depending on you and what you're able to do i like using the 70 30 method or even the 60 40 put away 70 and the 30 percent goes on things like needs and wants that is the easiest way i I saved any money and really implicating the self-discipline because if it's not there it's going to be really hard choosing where to stay some places literally just wouldn't accept me because i'm under 18 like amsterdam you need to be over 18 to stay in a hotel and airbnbs are kind of tricky depending on the country because you don't want to stay with somebody that you don't know as a 17 year old girl traveling alone it probably wasn't the safest idea for me to stay in airbnb but i did stay in a, a nice hotel it, it was not very central to where i wanted to be in amsterdam but i felt very safe things like that you can definitely work around up until the last month i had a reservation at this really amazing hotel if you guys know anything about the Almafi coast it is one of the most expensive places in italy to go i was going for the beaches and the views and how gorgeous it is i definitely enjoyed having an airbnb way more because i could cook i could have my own privacy i had the flexibility to just do more things i stayed right in the middle of sorrento i definitely preferred that with amsterdam and paris i did choose hotels because i felt safer it really just depends on where you're going but just make sure you prioritize feeling safe and comfortable you don't want to feel uneasy in a country you've never been to before so i really want to emphasize that one a lot number four is trip duration now how long do you want to stay there for also whether you're going to pack light or heavy i keep saying the names over and over again guys i'm just trying to give like examples from like experience i've been gaining amsterdam i was there there just over two days two and a half days i was there and i packed literally just a carry-on suitcase like a little carry-on suitcase i didn't get to bring that much with me but outfits wise 
it was freezing cold i just needed some good hoodies and a pair of jeans and then that allowed me to travel a bit lighter but then italy i paid an extra 40 pounds for a big suitcase which enabled me to bring more of my things like all my filming equipment i got to bring with me that i used every day i was there all of my outfits all of my makeup and I also got to go in the hold so I got to bring back loads of Italian food like a weekend or an overnight kind of thing try and stick to a carry-on luggage mm, four's pushing it but a week five days plus the girl needs a big suitcase but that may be just me maybe I'm a little bit over the top or extra I'm just a girl and this has nothing to do with these five tips but who's gonna tell younger me that you literally get like a miniature bag that you have to put all your makeup in i kid you not i had to throw away so much of my makeup and body care on the way to paris because the security guard was like no you're not allowed all of that and i'm like what rop to that lush body wash i was very heartbroken of that but yeah you literally only get like a miniature bag so the best thing to do is put all of your makeup in your hold luggage or pay for hold luggage because you will not be able to bring anything with you those are my five top tips about traveling solo prioritize where you're staying and making sure that you feel safe save longer so you have enough money choose wisely where you want to go take into consideration packing and traveling light in order to save money and do more things in the country you're going to and most importantly have fun and be confident and I think i say it in all of my alone but not lonely videos but literally don't care right now there are so many people around me and i've got my camera and i'm filming and you know i know this is going to make an amazing video so i'm not going to care but of course it's a little bit intimidating but i'm staying in my zone i'm looking at my camera i'm doing my own thing yeah, that's what you got to do just do your own thing be confident and when you're going out to eat just go on your phone put on your netflix put on a podcast while you eat take in your surroundings think of three things you're grateful for just really embrace the trip that you are going on when you go places alone you meet such amazing people i met the most loveliest girl when i was in italy and she's from toronto canada maybe on your first one you might meet anybody maybe you'll make a best friend for life you never know just trust that everything is working out for you you were there for a reason you were there to enjoy yourself don't spend the time that you're there that you've waited that long for thinking about do i like silly right now you're making the first move that is something to be so proud of that is the end of this alone but not lonely episode i really hope you guys have enjoyed watching i am so excited to edit this video and get this posted for you i love you guys i'll see you soon